rate is higher for belted occupants in the second row versus the front row. So they put a dummy, a woman or a 12 year old child. And um, so you think, well, has the back seat become less safe? No, not. It's been the same back seat we've had all the time. But technology has markedly improved for the front seated passengers because they've got to pass the test. So they have pretensioners on the seat belts. They got airbags. You don't have that in the right um, in the back seat. So they did that with the minivans, and I got real upset because, you know, these minivans are people haulers, and they're people hauling their kids around. The safety is an expectation, and they didn't pass. None of the four minivans earned an acceptable good rating. So II just, just did the same test again with midsize luxury SUVs. And this is where, a, you know, same thing. A lot of um, families are driving these SUVs, and the same thing. It's an SUV. You think it's going to be safe because it has great overall ratings for the front seated passengers, but now we've tested the rear seat passengers. So I'm going to bring up the slide here with the results. And um, so they tested the Lincoln Aviator, the Mercedes-Benz GLE, the Volvo XC60. Those are the only three that had good overall ratings. Um, in the Aviator, the rear passenger restraints and Kinematics only got an acceptable. And in Mercedes-Benz, the head and neck on the rear passenger only got an acceptable. So kind of a toss-up, but the Volvo XC60 was green across the board. How about that? Yeah, Acura MDX, oh, four on rear passenger restraints and kinematics. BMW X3, marginal. And then the Q5, the RX, got pores both in rear passenger uh, restraint and kinematics. The RX did a little bit worse. It got a marginal in the chest injury. And then here, once again, we beat on Cadillac, the Cadillac, leader of the world, excellence, number one, you know, the tout, the Cadillac. It is the bottom of this group. It got a poor overall. It had a marginal head and neck. It had a poor in chest, and it had a poor in rear passenger streets and kinematics on the uh, in the XT6.